students living in a freshman women's dorm at Livingstone College came back to find out their, their boiler had gone out while they were away on their holiday break. The students couldn't wash their clothes, take hot showers, and they didn't think administrators were listening to those concerns. WBTV's David Wisnett has more from Salisbury. A group of freshmen, women from Livingstone College, didn't want us to show their faces, but they did want their voices heard. They're upset about campus life at Livingstone. Now that we're coming back from break, we don't have any hot water. We are forced to go to another dorm room, another dorm room, and take a shower, and then walk back to put our clothes oh on. We pay all this money to go to school, but where's the money going because we keep having all these issues. Everybody the boiler went out at Goler Hall. Students were given the option of showering in another dorm or moving temporarily or permanently to another dorm. We took the concerns to the college president. The boiler went out. Unfortunately, with a building that old, that large, you can't go to Lowe's or Home Depot um, to replace uh, a water heater. It's a commercial boiler. The school had also ordered a new hot water heater, and this afternoon it was delivered. President Davis is hopeful it will fix the problem, but urges patience. We're hoping that this will be rectified in the next 24 to 48 hours. It could be longer because it might not work. But please know, again, we're being responsive and responsible. In Salisbury, David Wisnett, WBTV, on your side.